guys, guess what? You're watching Sing Su Sing TV, and we are here in Atlanta. That's right, hot Atlanta. How y'all doing out there? I am really excited to be here. The heat here is a lot different than it is in Miami, but guess what? As long as you're prepared, it doesn't even matter. Right now, we're just going to go out, and we're going to sightsee, see some of the places that Atlanta has to offer. Right now, I'm in front of a place called Long Island Inc. Who's getting a tattoo? You? You guys are getting tattoos? I don't know. I don't think I need any more. <laughs> On that note, stay tuned, guys. Wait till you see the rest of these split, these spots. Oh, and before I go, let me please thank our sponsors. That's right. Ideal Institute, Ed's Insurance, Haitian American Chambers, and of course, Spice It Up Miami. Thank you. We'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we are here with none other than TJ Sauce Kid. What's up, y'all? Make sure y'all go and follow me on every social media at TJ Sauce Kid. Oh, you came prepared. I came prepared, prepared. Oh, prepared, prepared. That means mm -hmm. you were serious. I'm serious. I like that. How you feeling, Sauce Kid? Oh, I'm feeling great. It's an amazing day in, in Georgia. It's just... You I'm just feeling great. Yeah, I'm just feeling great. <laughs> I like that. I like that. It was real chill out here. I like this little atmosphere you got going on out here. Thank you. Breeze blowing, nice trees, right? Kind of sets nice. the mood for us to be calm and ready to dive on in, right? All I got to do is sleep on my couch, <laughs> listen to the beautiful sounds. <laughs> You Just seem like you, you like nature, huh? I love nature. I see. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me some things about you. How's school for you? School is going great. I actually got um, A's and B's in school. Nice, nice. Yeah, is that um, hard to do, being an entertainer? It's not hard, but it is hard. So yeah, te you gotta kinda. explain that to me, cause kinda. you know I'm not mm -hmm. I'm not a kid anymore. So what does that mean? And I wasn't an entertainer. How old are you again? I'm nine years old. You're nine years old. So at nine years old, you're juggling school and you're juggling being an entertainer, right? Yes. And now you have to explain to me how is that not hard? Cause I, I got to get inside your head here. Oh. Um, like, what do you have? Not... Like a tutor? Well, I don't have a tutor, but it's just I always work. Like, I love working. I I do math almost every day. Uh, in school. Well, even out of school, I get on my app called ExtraMath.com. Nice. And all I do is just work and work, so I know my facts and. What's your, just... what's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is math. I should have known, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Math's a hard subject. That's awesome. Do you think that you need math 
in the entertainment world? I really do. I think so, too, right? <laughs> you want to yeah, count I that do. money, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you have brothers and sisters? I have brothers and sisters. How many? I have two sisters and two brothers. So are we talking older or younger? Uh, Three of them is older, one of them is younger. Younger than you? Yes, ma'am. Ooh, so mm -hmm. you're like a little role model there, huh? I am. How does that feel? Amazing. I know, right? What is it a he or she? That's the um, younger. It's a he. So it's a he. So what what kind of questions does he ask you? He uh well he doesn't ask me any questions, but he uh he kind of say, Hey, I'm responding T J in Fortnite. <laughs> so he, he um yeah, he, he thinks he's playing with me actually on the game when I'm off the game. <laughs> But I um I can actually play with him now because I friend him, so Aww. I can actually play with him. Oh, that's pretty cool. So wait a minute now. So not only are you juggling school, you're juggling being an entertainer, but you're playing video games too. Video games are hard to do. I am. That's like another job all in itself. <laughs> like, what's your what's your favorite game? Fortnite. Of course. Oh my God. Okay, which <laughs> character? Uh, I don't think I have a favorite character. Oh really? I love all characters. Yeah. Except for the noob skin. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Why? What's up with that one? I mean, it is kind of a tryhard skin to people, but it's just it's it's it doesn't it's nothing is it does not look good. Like there's nothing good about it. Oh, it's nothing pretty cool about it. Yeah. So you like things that stand out. It's just random. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. When did you start having a love? to be an entertainer, like to perform or to rap? Like when did that first start for you? Because you're already nine, mm -hmm. so I'm thinking this is like six months, one-year-old, no? I'm wrong? I was actually six when I started. Six. And if, uh, when I was six, I actually wrote my first song by myself. I actually came up with it. <laughs> do you remember it? I do. Can you give me some of it? Like say some, I mean, I'm just kind of curious. Six years old, what is that, first grade, kindergarten? First grade, I believe. Yeah. Second grade. No, first grade. First grade. Yeah, I, I think it was seven, first grade. Was, yeah. First Woo! Grade. Okay, tell me what did that look like. Well. That rap. Tell me. Okay. Oh some God! Here we go. Yeah, just sound like little, like maybe a sentence. Okay. Wake up and win. No, I'm gonna start with another one. Oh, okay. I, I have better so wait, one. you had two at six? Uh, that you wrote on your own? No, I only have one at six. That yeah. Wrote tell me that one okay. first. Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Steph. Curry, Steph Curry, you already know, man, I'm balling. You already know, man, I'm rocking. Oh, I love that. <laughs> well, okay, so you're a Steph Curry fan, huh? I am. <laughs> That's pretty cool, because he is balling. So that means. <laughs> well, I have Steph Curry all over my Well, not Steph Curry, but I have Golden State all over my room. Ooh. It's even on, the, on, my, uh, on my door, like when you first walk in. Not even when you walk in, before you walk in on the front door, you know, when you're Yeah, ready. as soon as you got yeah. into your room. It just uh it just says Golden State Warriors. And then I had this little poster with all the teams on it, uh in basketball league. Uh -huh. I X'd all the teams except for the Warriors <laughs> and I circled the Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when they see this interview, I'm pretty sure they'll be proud of you. <laughs> so listen, wait, we have so much more to go into. Is it okay if we take a break? Of course. You sure? I'm sure. All right, then. So on that note, guys, we'll be right back. Healthcare workers and nurses are in high demand. Take your first step toward a medical career today at Ideal Professional Institute in Miami Gardens. With multiple programs available, you can become a patient care technician in just nine months, a home health aide in under one month, an LPN in just a year. Ideal Professional Institute is licensed by the state of Florida. So register now. Call 305-653-7886. Sink to sink. Music is life. Yeah, yeah.
right, guys, and we're back with none other than TJ Sauce Kid. Okay, so now when we went to break, you were telling me about Golden State. And, of course, Steph Curry balling. Yep. Now it's all about you becoming that baller that you want to <laughs> become, right? So now six years old, you wrote your first rap. I mean, most kids at six years old are pretty shy. You weren't shy at all. I wasn't shy. No? What gave you confidence? Well, what gave me confidence is my first tour, like, it was in an arena. So my when I first got on stage... How old were you for the first tour? I was seven years old. Nice. But I, I wasn't really scared because I already know that I was going to be famous. I was going to be that guy. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Give me a <high> five. <laughs> I like that. That's what's up. Now, let me ask you a question. Now, you said you have some older siblings. Do they believe in you as much as you believe in yourself? Um, I don't think so. I think I believe, no. I believe in myself more. Wow. I, but, I, but my siblings, they believe in me a, a lot. lot. A lot. A and lot. is that important to you? It's really important. Yeah, for to have their support, right? Yes. Do they get to go to a lot of your events? Um, well, they don't, they, uh, they don't live with me. They live, um, they live in actually Florida. Nice. So they only come over a little bit and not that much. So they come to some of my events, but not all of them. Speaking of Florida, I heard it was your favorite spot, but now, wait a minute. I'm, I think, wait, you were changing it. It's no longer your favorite spot, right? No. Okay. Well, where's your favorite spot now? New York City. <laughs> New York City. Is it because of the pizza? No. <laughs> What's it it's just of? because of Times Square. Times Square. Do you see yourself performing in Times Square one day? I actually do. And actually, I'm performing in New York on a tour, so make sure you go and get your tickets right now. That's right. You better tell them where they're going to get their tickets from. Well, my daddy haven't told me the app yet. My daddy knows the app now. That's yet. that's all that matters. You're right. <laughs> that's all that matters. You did your part, right? <laughs> I did my part. All right. Okay, so now tell me about some of the places that you have been able to perform already. I've seen some of them in the gymnasiums. I've seen some of them at the schools. Tell me about those experiences. Which one well, was your best? Oh, uh, I think the the schools. The schools? The schools okay. are really fun. Why is that? Is it more your age group? They're cheering for you? What is it? No, it's just uh, schools. Like, when they see somebody, they're, like, always hype. Like, <laughs> all these schools, they're so hype, and they're so, like, fun. Yeah, that kind of hypeness will do something to you. That That's an ego stroker for sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. So schools are pretty cool, right? All right. Yes, sir. If you can perform anywhere, and I already know New York's your favorite, where would it be? Um, it will be the biggest arena in the world <laughs> with more you, than a million people. I need you it. to go ahead and look up that place because I need to know where that's at. Or probably in a football stadium. In a football stadium. All right, I see that coming up. <laughs> now, you've been writing your music, you said, since you were six years old. Are you still writing your own music? I actually am. Yeah? Does no one else help you? My dad helps me. Well, that's good. Well, not all the time, not right, but he helps me, he helps me a lot. Yeah. He's to, um he's what he is the one that make me start doing music. Yeah, so he motivated you, right? I heard he was your role model. He is. He's somebody you look up to, right? Yes. Yeah, that's pretty awesome to have a dad like that's pretty cool, right? It is. Yeah. <laughs> so then when he when he motivates you to do what you love, right? How does that feel for you? Well, Besides being awesome, and we've already like, how does it feel for you? I feel like a blessed child, mm. like a really blessed child. You are a really blessed child. <laughs> Thank you. Really you. Are. All right, so now you're coming up with your music. What motivates you besides your dad? Mm. What helps you to come up with some of the lyrics that you write? Well, um, actually, from my dad's songs. Oh, so you I've... listen to you. Wait, so your dad performs too? My dad performs too. Oh man, I this is like a family affair. <laughs> I like this, mom too. One yeah. day, probably one day. <laughs> probably one day. <laughs> okay, okay, wait. You gotta hold that thought. We gotta take a break. Is that all right? That's all right. All right, guys. Listen, we're gonna go ahead and take a break. Before we do, I want to thank one of our sponsors, Ed Insurance. Without you, come on, where will we be? We'll be right back.
right, guys, we are back with TJ the Sauce Kid, or TJ Sauce Kid. Sauce Is that all right to say how I said it, or say it like that? TJ Sauce Kid. I'm sorry, TJ <laughs> Sauce Kid. You heard it. <laughs> all right, so now listen. Now you're telling me about this family affair. Your mom might do it one day, but one your dad day. is doing it also. Yes. Wow. So you have a lot to look up to. I have. I do. All right. So listen. You seem pretty busy. I just want to know. Can you just paint a picture for me? What does your day look like when you wake up in the morning? You got to brush your teeth. You got to take your bath. What does a typical day look like for TJ Sauce Kid? Well. First, I do those two things. Okay. I like then, that. I'm glad to know. Yeah. On school days, of course, I go to school. Okay. After school, I play for a little until 6 o'clock. Play what? Well, I just play outside with oh, my Oh, play friends. outside? Oh, good. So you get, yeah. yeah, I like that. Okay. And then I do my homework actually at 6 o'clock. Okay. And then um, after homework, I take a shower, eat dinner, then go to bed, wake up the next morning, do the same thing every day. What about the studio? Do you ever get to go to the studio? Oh, I do. Um, on the weekends, maybe? I actually do on Fridays. Nice. I've, uh, it's called Music Fridays. I like it. Mm -hmm. You're organized. Who's doing that? My Who's, dad. Yeah. Oh, man, your dad is like all around. We might have to, <laughs> we, we might have to throw him in. We, yeah, we do. Yeah, right? We do. I think so, too. We do. <laughs> yeah, that organization is key. So how is it going to the studio? Are um, you like the, wait, are you like the youngest person going in there? I actually You are, am. right? Oh, my God. But we actually have a studio in our house. For real. Dang, we doing it, doing it. That's why I record Oh, so we're music. balling, balling, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I like that. How does it feel having a studio in your home? Does, do your friends know? Well, Does it make I you, like, extra popular? It does, but I, I really like having a studio in a house because, like, it's like I don't have to get, you know, like sauced up and go to a studio. I could just stay at home, still stay in comfortable clothes, just record my music. Nobody sees me, so I don't have to wear. Man, you know, like, your dad sauce. is super spoiling you because, <laughs> boy, if you're going to those big old stages, <laughs> you're going to be like, listen, this is how I'm coming outside today. I am the man. <laughs> and that's it. Right? That's it. Yeah, they better take it or leave it. <laughs> I like it. Man, you're such an interesting kid. I, 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 it's like you, you know, it's like I have so many questions and things that I can ask you, but I really want to know, though. I'm going to get back into the music, but if it's for school, what is it that you see yourself doing in the future besides music? When you graduate school, when you graduate college, uh, what is it that you see yourself doing in addition to music? Oh, daddy. Yep, tell us. I think it is MLB. <laughs> MLB. What's that? Baseball? Major League Baseball. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, you like baseball. Baseball's my favorite sport. Re I can tell with Steph Curry. <laughs> really? But actually, uh, be uh, I just actually won my championship game in baseball. Who? Oh. So me and my teams are wait a me minute, and my team is the champions. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait. <laughs> so you play baseball too? Is this baseball. online or is it for real, for real? This for real. Where do you find the time? Are you not tired? Are you tired? You're tired right now. That's why you wear those glasses. I'm not. You're not? I'm not tired. I Let just me see your look eyes. A little... Let me see. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> You're not tired. <laughs> you got beautiful eyes. Thank you. Oh, my God. No, seriously, how do you find the time? Well, I, I, I think I get the eyes from my mom. Oh, you're talking about your eyes? My eyes. Oh, okay. Your eyes are beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> They're tiger eyes. They are tiger eyes. <laughs> Show it to the camera. I don't think they saw. Really tiger eyes, right? <laughs> All right, so we're going to back it on up. Let me ask you this. Do you feel a lot of pressure being your age and performing and playing basketball, uh, uh, baseball, uh, uh, going to school, uh, playing outside with your friends? Like, Do you feel pressure? I actually don't. No? I have a lot of energy as a kid. You can ask my dad. I'm, I'm on 100% every single day. I don't have to ask your dad. <laughs> well, you see it? um, one time, tell me. One time, um, I went Wait, to save bed. It. Can I take a break? It's for school. Wait, save the thought. Okay, you gonna I'll save, save. You gonna save, save it for it. me? I'll save it. You sure? I'll save it. All right. So he said he's gonna save it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, we gotta take another break. Before we do, I like to say thank you, Spice It Up Miami. You guys rock for sponsoring tonight. <laughs> see you guys in a few. Stay tuned.
sink to sink. Music is life, yeah, yeah. Love it. Alright guys, and we are back with TJ Sauce Kid. Hey. <laughs> Alright, so now we left off on a story and I'm ready to hear it. Go for it. So, um, one time when I ate dinner, I was I was very sleepy. But I actually stayed up really late. One time I only got one hour of sleep. And then the next day, I was not tired. <laughs> what did you take? Like some super juice? I don't know what what I took. I don't I don't exactly know, but I just I think it was just a hype day for me. Right. I, I think I was just hype. I know. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when you're a little hype, man, it kind of gets you in the groove, like for your day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just love this. Okay, you want to take your glasses off for me? I think I want to see those beautiful eyes again. Ugh. All right, so now that you've mm -hmm. taken off your glasses, do you mind just doing like a little, a little freestyle for me? Okay, yeah. I'll do it. Is it better for you to sit down? Is it okay? It um, it really doesn't matter. Okay, well we can sit down so we can be comfortable, right? I'm gonna do a 52 second freestyle. Ooh, that's long. Let's do it. <laughs> Go okay. for it. Click, click, clack, get Zeus, back, summertime, smile, top, lay, back, I spit, fat, stat, ma, racks, eight years, young, fear, what's next, already, tour, first class, flights, Hollywood, seats, Fortnite, nights, grind all day, play all night, sleep when I die, I'ma live life, cares on my plate, cares on my neck, I eat good, please give respect, I don't rap to rap, I'll rap for checks, I don't play to fumble, I play to catch, cat chase, dog, I don't chase cat, I chase cheese, grind on, right, throw me the ball, I swing back, riding up on me, get kicked, black. <sighs> <sighs> oh my God. First of all, I just want to say <laughs> that transition was amazing. You were smiling with me, you were ready, but when it was time to rap, it was, <laughs> that face was serious. <laughs> so what happens when you, when you get on stage and you're performing? Like, what's going through your mind? Uh, I'm just saying, oh my God, wow, this is a lot of people. I'm starting to get a little nervous. <laughs> Woo, there's too much people. Yeah, but your facial expression doesn't show it at all. Your facial expression just showed me that I am the most confident rapper mm -hmm. out here who's coming up next and who wants the smoke. <laughs> That's what I felt. Is that what you, no? Is that not what you felt? Well, it, I, I felt that. I, I always felt that. It's just... I'm nervous in my brain, but I'm not nervous with my face. So I'm like, <laughs> and I then, love it. but but people just not realize it because they act. Uh, I'm just act like like I'm just rapping and yeah, they won't and just, know and just kind of smirking and stuff. Now listen, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I gotta tell you this. Mm -hmm. Now you're only nine years old, and you've already accomplished so much. Like you said inside your rap, you've toured. You know, you've performed um, in different arenas. Uh, you're now the, what, brand ambassador? For what? What is it that you're a brand ambassador for snacks? Uh... Rob Snacks? Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Tell me about I'm that. Actually... That's pretty dope. So there's this little contest going on, um, and they actually put me in it. I actually won the jingle. Nice. So that's 
I, I got a check from it. Wait, you gonna show me that check on the, on the next on the, on the, after our next break, okay? Okay. Yeah, I gotta see that. But tell me more. How did that feel? But oh my god, it feels so amazing because like every contest I've been in, um, I actually won it. But that rough snacks, it was the best contest I think. Why? What um, made it so different? Is it because you well, won a lot of money or? No, it's just not that. Well, Good. that's one of them. <laughs> but it's just not that. It's just like I can't believe that I'm the new face of rap snacks, and I, I can know. I can meet the people like who actually made rap snacks. I know it's so mm. super cool. Do you eat them? I eat them a lot. What's your favorite one? Uh, I don't have one. I like all of them. You are something <laughs> else. <laughs> well, I've never eaten them, so I need to try them. You need to. I do, right? They're really good. What are some of the flavors, do you know? Like, is it like a barbecue? Like, what is it? You want me to tell you the names, two and two? Sure, tell me. Okay, so, oh. Oh, look, Dad's passing us one. Let's see. What does it look like? Oh, uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, it says, why, Amigos, white cheddar. With a dab of ranch. Oh, but they're actually damn. cheese puffs. <laughs> Let me but guess. I need that is, one. You have uh, these are we we have a popcorn kind of this. Wait. There's a popcorn kind too. Okay, so hold that thought because when I come back, I want to see the check and everything. Oh, you are. Oh, guys, we're you coming are. right back. Thank you, Haitian American Chambers. Thank you for your sponsorship. We'll be right back. guys and we are back with tj sauce kid back. that's right and now listen we had to absolutely had to bring out dad had to you heard it and it's tj as well right yes yes ma'am it's tj <laughs> as well but it's really more t1 the mystery kid t1 and mystery or and the mystery kid t1 the mystery kid yes, there it is <laughs> all right now wait yeah pass it back to mr tj the man <laughs> over here sauce kid now what what am i trying oh you're trying white cheddar with a double ranch cheese puffs. Can you do me the honors and open it up for me? Of course. All right, let's see what this thing here tastes like, guys. Stay tuned. Drum roll, please. <laughs> it's many. I'll just take one. How about that? You can have the whole bag if you like it. Oh, my God. I'm so nervous. This is huge. Now, now it's one rule. After, after you eat it, you got to dab. You gotta, you okay, gotta dab. wait. I got to wait. You got to dab. So I got to use this here? You got to dab. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm about to die, right? Da hey. <laughs> I need something to drink after, though. It's yeah. Okay. That was an interesting taste, I would say. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It's an interesting taste. No, I love I, I love rap I snacks, I but like, like that that's a that's the interesting. That taste one is interesting. What is yeah. it? Ranch and what? Uh, white cheddar with the dabbing. Yeah. You gotta try the Cardi B's. Yeah. Oh, Cardi. Hey. My God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why? There's only a dab of it. <laughs> like this? Pit, dab. They only put one dab of it. <laughs> okay, I like it. Can, I want to see that uh, that um, exciting moment when you won this here. What what they gave you a check, right? What did it look like? Oh, it was it was huge. Oh. It, it's right here. Oh, well it was then. it was huge. Well then. You can't even see my face. That's how big it was. <laughs> how did that feel standing up there holding that thing, man? Oh, it felt it, feel, it felt amazing. Oh my God, I was I was just impressed. It's like I'm I was so happy. Listen, was, it's only the beginning. I was so happy. 
It's only the beginning. Can I ask Dad some questions? You can. All right. <laughs> well, thank you, TJ, for letting me, you know. <laughs> Come up here and share his right. segment. He said Dad had to be there. Yes, Dad, ma'am. you're such an amazing man. I mean, just yes, from ma'am. what he was saying alone. Thank you. Like, how, how do you do it? God, the grace of God, honestly. I like that. And the support of my family. Like, I have my dad and my mom, you know, support me as well as I support my, my kids. So, I think you know, that's a the whole very family structure kind of helps. Like, just being honest, like, it's a balance. It's, where did you get your passion for music? Um, Bow Wow. Yeah. This sounds real funny, you know, like when he was little Bow Wow. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to give, you know, almost kind of giving away how we. I know. But, you know, um, you know, just being honest, a lot of people don't really give him that credit. But when I was little, that's why I found my inspiration to want to be. That's when I first picked up a microphone when I saw this kid performing. My aunt actually took me to his concert, the Scream Tour with uh, B2K and I'm, I don't even know if B2K was around. Yes, they were. Yeah. But uh, it was it was then that I did, you know, I realized that I really want it was something I wanted to pursue, like between him and Mike. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty awesome. I mm-hmm. love the organization that you're teaching him. I love how you're creating a, such an environment for education. I love how you're creating the environment yes, for ma'am. support. Thank it's you. It's really a beautiful, Thank beautiful you. thing. You. Why is it so important for you to pour into him, you know, the entertainment side to this? Like, why is that? Um, Legacy. One. And two, su- <laughs> supporting him in whatever oh, yeah. whatever dream it is, you know. So whether I'm baseball dad today, that's right. You know, and then I'm 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 football I'm dad. football dad. I he, saw that He's too. a little quarterback. Yeah, I saw that too. I don't yeah. matter what role I play, as long as I'm in support of my kids, then I'm I'm good. Let me I'm ask good. you a question: What gives you the? Um, how do you juggle it all? Um. Because the schedule, I mean, you know, how he has yeah. like Music Friday. <laughs> so like each day we have something designated. We know, you know, what we're doing. Um, we kind of I kind of line up the week, you know, and things. I try to stay organized as much as I can. No, I try not to control my life, yeah. but I try to, you know, at least get Keep a, organized. you know, some type of guidance of what's before me. What's the task at hand? What's my goals? So I stay writing down goals and I stay, you know, figuring out how I can get to those goals. And I, and I, and I don't and I, and I pace myself. I try not to rush anything. So, you know, we always make sure we do it with a spirit yeah. of excellence and just take our time and do it right. And. Yeah, that's it. Well, Dad, I just want to say we applaud you. Thank I you. wish we had an interview with you as well, <laughs> yeah, you know. Ma'am. But I Thank really you. do applaud you for the work that you're doing, not only for yourself, but what you're teaching him. Thank you. you know, Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for TJ yeah. and where he's going, exactly. where he's headed. And, um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm glad to be in the back seat watching Woo-hoo! him, man. He, he's doing his thing. I got another question for him, though. Yeah. Is that okay? For me or for TJ? Him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's this TJ last... interview. Yeah. I, I appreciate y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's his very last question. Well, two, two more. Okay. First, is there anything else that you would like people to know about you? Oh, I have to think doing this. You think about it while you're thinking about that question, right? There's a kid out there who's probably your age, and they want to do the same thing that you're doing, and they may not have the same support system that you have. What kind of encouragement will you tell that kid so they don't give up? Well, I know uh, some people get mistreated, too. Yeah. Uh, so I always say, um, don't worry about what any uh, anybody says. Just go on with your doing and act like you're the boss. <laughs> you got that right. Act like you're the boss. And don't care what they're saying as long as you believe in yourself. Don't... Well, what I'm saying is, like, don't, don't be sad because mm-hmm. somebody said me, some, something mean to you. Right. Be, be happy um, because even though that person's being mean to you, you still have other friends. That's right. All right. I like that. <laughs> now, is, what is it that you'd like the people to know about you? Do you know? What else? That we may not have covered. Did we, did we cover everything? Oh. God. Oh. I know what. What? I don't think none of my um. I don't think none of my fans know this. Probably some, but I'm actually um. Uh um. What is it called, Daddy? What, buddy? Do you know what it is? Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Um. 
I wrote a book, actually. You sure oh, did. Oh, what is it called? <laughs> Gigi and Me? Or My what is, Gigi. My Gigi and Me. I did read that. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I was, oh, listen, I mean, I, I swear we can go on and on. So now we're not going to ask any more questions because now it's time for the fans. It's time for the people who support us to actually follow you and get this information themselves. I think we gave them a mouthful, right? Yeah. We gave them a We did, right? We did. All right. So now into this camera here. Tell them where they can find you. You can find me on literally every social media in the world, not only one. Every social the media world. that's made, that's right. everyone. Tell them. Tell them. What's you can it follow me on every social media at TJ Sauce Kid with no spaces and no caps. He said it here, guys. <laughs> TJ Sauce Kid. How did you come up with that name? Actually, I didn't come up with the name. Who did? Well, I actually kind of came up with the name. I got the sauce. I already knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all heard it. But, 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 but my daddy came up with it more. Yeah, because you don't label kids, boss kids. I mean, what is it? Boss kids? What do they call What'd you call them? Boss kids. Boss kids, boss kids, boss kids. right? Hey, that, that, that means something. It's a kid that believes, overcomes. Seed and succeed. Oh, I, man, this is a dope interview, man. I need another high five on that one. You're a dope kid. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. All right, guys, that is our time for today. Thank you. Oh, look. Okay, tell oh, me. Yeah. Th- th- thank you. Tell me. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for inviting me on this TV show. Thank you. You're welcome. This TV show is amazing. I don't think I've never been on a TV show. This really? is the first TV show I've been on. Oh, look how you graced us with your presence. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Yo, he stole my heart. That's it. Do I have a? I do have a daughter. You can't have her yet. Though. She's only one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but guys, this is a, an amazing uh, um, kid. This is an amazing set. I love the atmosphere that you created for us out here to interview you. You know, his confidence is through the roof. You guys have to please, please, please be sure to follow him. Get to know him. TJ Sauce Kid. He is the man. Damn. (laughs) Al. All right, guys, again. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Tell him. Okay. And make sure you guys better act like it's your birthday. Hey. <laughs> Thank you again to all of our sponsors. We have Spice It Up Miami, Ed Insurance, um, Ideal Institute, and Haitian American Chambers. Again, guys, without you all, we would not be here. So thank you so much for bringing us here to the lovely Georgia. All right. On that note, you got to stay around for part two. We'll be Peace. back.